What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at one of the top Raspberry Pi 4 kit available on the market. Keep watching this video to know everything about it. Before we start talking about the inside, I want to mention that I got it from the official website and they shipped it internationally and that's why the box is a little bit damaged. I don't really care about the box being damaged as long as the inside is okay. Talking about the price of the kit, after shipping and taxes, I got it somewhere below 120 US dollar. But make sure to check it on your own because it may vary based on the time you're watching this video and based on your location. Let's open it up to see what's inside and what we get for this price. So far in my opinion the packaging looks really good and high quality and I really liked it. Moving on once you open the package you see many things inside and the first thing is a micro SD card of 32GB with some programs installed on it that allows you to install the Raspberry Pi operating system without having to manually setting up anything. In my opinion this is a great option for beginners as they can use the Raspberry Pi right out of the box without worrying about anything else. Moving on the other thing that comes inside the box is the micro HDMI to HDMI that allows you to simply connect your Raspberry Pi to your monitor and start using it. Don't worry if you don't have a monitor and you have a laptop, in my channel there are tons of videos that allow you to connect your Raspberry Pi to your laptop wirelessly or even via cable, so check them out if you don't know how. The other thing that you get inside the packaging is the Raspberry Pi computer itself, in this case the Model B and the 2GB version. If you're interested in the 4GB version or the 8GB version, you can check out the videos for them in my channel. There is also a playlist that you can check out. Moving on, another important thing that we get inside the packaging is the Raspberry Pi power supply. This is very important to have and it comes with other things inside that I'll show you later that are also important to have. The last thing we can find inside the packaging is the Raspberry Pi case. The Raspberry Pi case is very nice to have and this Raspberry Pi case looks really cool that I'll show you in a bit. However, inside the case there is no heat swing or fans and you have to purchase them separately. I really recommend getting at least a heat sink so your Raspberry Pi can run more efficiently and it doesn't get hot and that's my opinion and everything is totally based on you. Alright let's open up the case and see what's inside and how it looks. But while I'm doing this, if you like this video, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel because it motivates me to create more videos like this one. Opening the Raspberry Pi 4 case and looking at it, in my opinion the design is very modern and good looking and also it feels very high quality. It does not require any screws and you can put in the Raspberry Pi in less than 1 minute and start using it and that is a good thing to have. Moving on let's go ahead and open up the Raspberry Pi itself and put it inside the case to see how it fits. One more time I want to mention that this is the Raspberry Pi 4 computer model B the 2GB RAM version. As you can see this is a perfect option for beginners and they can use it for their projects and anything else including hobby and for people who want to start using Raspberry Pi and learn how to use it. I know that in 2024 Raspberry Pi shortage is over however many people still cannot find it separately on its own so it is a good idea to buy the kit because it contains the Raspberry Pi and it contains everything else that we need to start using it. Inside the box beside the Raspberry Pi we get the user manual and some other information which is always good to read. Ok let's go ahead and see how we can put in the Raspberry Pi inside the case. As you can see the process was fairly easy and almost anyone can do it. I really recommend getting at least a heat sink or a fan for the Raspberry Pi and putting it inside the case too. Moving on to last but not least the Raspberry Pi power supply which is very good to have because it provides enough power to a Raspberry Pi to run it efficiently and without any problem. Inside the packaging we can see many parts that allow us to connect to different outlets and this is very good to have while traveling. The parts are really good because they are swappable and you can swap them very easily when you travel or the first time you want to use it. Alright this is the end of this video, if you liked it please go ahead give a like and subscribe because it motivates me to create more videos like this one. 
For any question, feel free to comment below. Other than this, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.